Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we started on the Terrace Dome here with Good Egg Galaxy. And in this part, I got my regular sensor bar back, and so the pointer should look a lot better. And we'll also be starting on the second main galaxy of the Terrace, which is... Honey Hive Galaxy, which will include one of the main power-ups that they really marketed for this game. So yeah, um, as you would guess, this is just the second galaxy. It's still going to be pretty basic, but B Mario takes flight, so that would, should already give you an idea of what it is. So we see that it's pretty B-themed. I mean, obviously, it's called the Honey Hive Galaxy. So yeah, what we want to do first, I think, I I, I kind I always get confused, especially on this first mission, because it it doesn't really tell you what to do. And unless you're familiar with how the game works, you wouldn't really know, like, to do anything. I think you have to find a vine somewhere. Maybe it's on a piranha plant. Oh, crap. Are you it? No, just a coin. Well, maybe that's for a different mission that I'm thinking of. There's a... maybe. Do you have a vine? No? Hmm. What about this coin? Yeah, sometimes these big coins do something. Ah, okay, yeah, that should do it. I, I kind of forgot there for a minute, because I haven't played this in a while, but... Well, this mission, because, you know, I said I played the game a few weeks ago, but I haven't actually played the, you know, the beginning missions, so, yeah. We get the Mii Mushroom, and we transform into B Mario. Hold A to buzz around, and by buzz, I mean you can fly like this. Although, you will lose uh, your fly power as you fly, obviously. So, if you want to gain height, you just hold it continuously, but if you want to gain, uh, like, uh, distance, if you fly, then you can press it repeatedly, but Mario will still sort of gain momentum and also fly a little on his way there. So that's how you can gain, um, some distance. Oh, there's a life back there. Just saw it right as I ground pounded it into here. Yeah, and as you see, once you get up to, once you get the bee mushroom, they'll start appearing in those crystal things, as will most power-ups later in the game, so... You can get them easily if you if you accidentally lose it. I'm pretty sure you lose it um, if you get hit, or if you die, obviously. Um, well, maybe you don't lose it if you get hit. I can't really remember, actually, but... Yeah, here's a launch star. Let's take it. And this takes us to the second planet. Which I think you only visit in this mission. Surprisingly. Yeah, that's something else about this game that... Some people don't like, but I don't really mind. Uh, some people don't like that the missions aren't as open as they were in, like, Mario 64 or Mario Sunshine. You know, like, in those games, you just had, like, one area, and the only clues you were given was the name of the star slash shine sprite. But in this game, it usually gives you, like, a set path on where to go. But I, I don't know, I don't mind that too much. I mean, I'd rather be told where to go than just have to wander all around, and yeah, I guess you do lose it if you get hit. That was totally for demonstration purposes, too. Yeah, I'm... Because I was wondering, yeah, okay. Anyway, if you want to get up to those platforms there, you could try flying, but it won't work. So this prompt is telling you to spit on this flower, and you'll automatically grab it, and it'll fling you up here. A lot of star bits right there. Oh, also, if you hit water as a bee, you'll turn back into regular Mario, so don't do that. I think you also can't stand on these flowers if you're just regular Mario, so... If you manage to find a way to get up here as regular Mario, like... If you stand on them, it'll disappear right when you stand on them, so you have to be B Mario. Uh, there's a vine over here, which will take you to... Oh. I guess it takes you to another bee mushroom if you didn't have one. Or wait, wasn't there one over here? Was there? No, I guess there wasn't. Okay. So if you don't if you don't have one yet, then I guess you'll have to get that. But another main mechanic of B Mario is that he can grab onto the sticky honey here. So yeah, that's pretty... Cool, and a fun- a weird thing that you can do, like, the physics when you're on these- this bee- or this honey here is that Mario will actually act like this is the ground, like the honey's the ground. So if you do, like, if you jump into a ground pound, he'll, like, ground pound towards the- the planet, so that's pretty weird. It's almost like it has its own gravity, all, but, yeah, you can only do his bee Mario, though, so- which makes sense, because, you know, bees like honey. They also make honey, so I guess that makes sense. Also, if you do a spin, you'll do- you'll- make, like, some honey come out of you, which is a nice touch, too. And who might you be? A physician, we presume? No matter, we are in the most vexing predicament as we require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. I'm guessing she means we as in, uh, oh, the royal 
term, sort of, because she's the only one she's talking about. This is the Honey Queen, or the Queen Bee, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, just some people don't like her, but you know. If you, you can climb around her as Bee Mario here, and you have to climb around her while she makes some suggestive comments, and collect the star chips that are on here. She also returned in Mar Super Mario Galaxy 2, serving, I'm pretty sure, the same purpose, so yeah. My thanks, you have shown much very bravery, newbie. We, we, trust that, yeah, we trust that we may rely on you in the future. Get it, newbie? Newbie? Yeah, okay. So she, well, no, I guess she didn't create the launch star, or star chips did, but it, it almost seemed like she created the launch star for us, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the only serve, uh, the only purpose she serves. I think she's in one other mission, but I think she just tells you where to go in that mission. But here we have a, a new characters, kind of. Yeah, I think this was the first game they were in. It's the Toad Brigade with uh, their leader, Captain Toad. Ah, B. What, Mario? Hey, it's you. We escaped from Peach's castle too. But then we thought Bowser would get us, and we got lost with Luigi. Oh. Oh, I just remembered. We found a power star. I'm sure you need this. So here, take it. Oh, well, what a coincidence, or else we pretty much would have been just stranded on this giant tree here. In fact, I wonder, can you actually go outside this platform here? It might result in me getting dead, but, you know, I'm gonna try it. Um, um, I, it looks like you're gonna fall down probably to your death or to a platform that I don't want to go on, so, you know, I'm just gonna grab the star here. What, what else do you have to say? How are we ever gonna get back? Yeah, yeah, that toad brings up a good point, but luckily the star has, like, trans, trans, eh. It transports you back to the common observatory, so hopefully it does for you, too. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah, if you ever have an event that happens after you get a star, you'll, you'll automatically get transported back to the beginning of the observatory here. Because usually it's Rosalina talking to you or something. Oh. Uh, oh, we got a new galaxy. Well, I'll check that out later, but once we finish Honey Hive. Mario! Your name is Mario, isn't it? That's what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Mario, it has such a nice ring. Okay. Look. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so you best hurry over there. Okay, I will do that. Uh, no, I'm not gonna say right now. Like I said, I, you know, filed and so if something happens, I want to be able to go back to it. Uh, what do you have to say? Howdy, Mario. If you're looking for everybody, they're back this way. Okay. What about you? Where are we? I want to go home. I'm so homesick. Aw. <laughs> uh, there's Captain Toad, and yeah, he's actually getting his own game. <laughs> which, fun funny enough, that's a thing. But anyway. Mario, somehow we made it too. We'll help you get the power stars and say Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. We're all in this together. Leave it to us. Okay. The Loomis are going to build us a ship. When it's done, let's go look for Princess Peach and power stars. Oh. Wait. What kind of starship will it be? Oh, I can't wait. Well... Once you get there, it'll actually be pretty fitting, once you see what it actually is. But right now, they're still building it, apparently. The ship is for the toads. Oh, is it? I think there's a life in here. Yeah, there is. There's a there's a few spots around the observatory where lives always respawn, so... That's sort of what I meant before when I said that lives are pretty easy to get in this game. Plus, there's another thing later in the game involving one of the toads that... You pretty much just get lives when you turn on the game from, so yeah. Anyway, let's go back into Honey Hive, because we still have some more stars to do. That's actually the galaxy we unlocked. When you see these, uh, block, or, yeah, block, question mark block galaxies, it basically just means there's only gonna be pretty much one star. It's just like a one star galaxy, so... If you want to take them on now, you can, but I'm just gonna go finish off Honey High first, just to keep things a little more organized. And the second mission is... Trouble on the Tower. Oh, I think I know what this one is. I... If it's... It's one of two missions that I'm thinking of. If it's not, it'll be the next mission, but... Um... Oh, yes, it is, it is the one that I'm thinking of. This will have sort of a boss, but... Not really. It's a boss that... A, a quote-unquote boss that returns in Galaxy 2. In a much weirder place. Not... I guess kind of it fits. It's in the Puzzle Plank Galaxy in that game, but... I think you need to go up to this higher part here where you saw that Wiggler was in the opening there. It almost looked like the vine- it always looked to me that the vine was supposed to go the other way in that part, but, yeah. Anyway, you wanna like, ground pound this and you can get some star bits. I'm not sure how much you can actually get out of that, considering you have to ground pound each and every time, but you can get some. I think this also has star bits, yeah. And what you ultimately wanna do is come up here, take the sling star, even though 
Probably could have gotten off there if it was a better spraying, but hit the switch. As you see, when you grump onto your wiggler, it flips over, then you want to step on it, and it'll burst into star bits. Yeah, so most enemies, when you stomp on them, they burst into coins, but since you, you can't really step on a wiggler, um, or else, it, if you do step on a wiggler regularly, when it's not flipped over, I should say, it will uh, just turn angry, you know, like most wigglers do in Mario, or in like 2D Mario games. So that's the only r real way you can defeat it, I think. So yeah, actually, what does this sign say? I don't think I've, pretty, I've ever checked it. Yep, it's me, the famous Gilboard. If you want to climb this wall, you better listen up. When you stick to the wall after you jump, press A to do a wall jump. Use a string of wall jumps to reach really high areas. So yeah, you can do a wall jump like he was saying, and if you do a backflip, then wall jump, you can get even more height. Yeah, for some reason, the billboards in this game tend to have names. <laughs> in fact, I think one of their names is Billboard, like, as two words. So yeah, it's pretty pretty punny like that. I think there's like, Billboard, Gilboard, Billboard. I don't know. But here we come to a planet which looks like a some sort of hat. There's like a dark and a light side. I don't know. It always just looked to me like sort of sort of top hat. It may look like something else to some people, but you know that's that's their mind being kind of dirty there. Yeah, as you see, I, I actually um ground pounded near that wiggler too. So it flipped over, but then if you give it enough time, it'll charge at you. It actually looked like it was homing, and it'll get all it all mad. Uh, here's a rainbow star, which, you know, it'll make you invincible, like I showed before. You get a lot of star bits doing that, too, I guess. Oh, I remember, like, 54. Like I said, you want to collect a lot, so I guess it's good. Wait, I want to show this. You can actually, like, have the pattern go with you through that. It's almost kind of hard on the eyes. If you go... You can do that later in the game, too, where you, like, go through a launch star or a sling star. Mostly a launch star, though, as, um... It's Rainbow Mario, and it looks, it kind of messes with your vision, almost, because, I don't know, it just kind of hurts your eyes with, like, the flashing colors, but, yeah, uh, these are new enemies, I I forget what their names are, I should have hit them there, as you see with the symbol on their back, you want to ground pound right when you're near them, or, actually, when they're backing up would probably be the better time to do it, because then they're really slow, I'll actually show later, but, um, if you get on their backs and don't do anything, they're just sort of like cowering in fear, but eventually they'll knock you off if you stand on their backs too long. But yeah, you have to ground pound them on to kill them, but it's sort of funny. They just have sort of like, oh, they're on my back. I can't, oh, the suspense is killing me on what they're going to do. And yeah, you can still see the queen bee over there. Here's the mini boss kind of I was talking about. What you wanted to do, you want to do is jump and hit his little or the mama's little boy on top first then the mama will get really mad and and you want to jump on him too oh great that's the first time i've ever had that happen you know like ever playing this game of course it would be you know while i'm recording and stuff but i don't think the baby responds but he's still pretty angry come here oh what what i, I didn't get hit until later that was weird Anyway, I've never had this much trouble dealing with you, so die! You don't deserve to live after giving me that much trouble. <laughs> it almost sounds kind of bad, but... I mean, he was trying to harm me, technically. Anyway, here's our star, so that is awesome. And that'll add one more to our star count. I think we're at six now. Wow. Doesn't seem like that much. I, you, you thought I was going to say, like, but we've come so far. Nope, I was just going to say that's that it doesn't seem like much. Anyway, we have one more star left, and then I guess... I'll, I'll probably do that question mark galaxy in that um, in this part as well, just to show what it is. Uh, Big Bad Bugaboom. Oh, this is the boss that I was thinking of. That is also in Galaxy 2. It is... His name is Bugaboom, you know, obviously. He is a giant... One of these, um... I really don't know what their name is. These ground poundy bugs? Yeah, that's what I'll call them. These ground poundy bugs. He's a giant one of those. Oh, I should also mention because I never showed this. If you turn around, there's a star bits of M. There's a M made out of star bits in the sky there. Also, there's a one up right here if you dare to get it. There's a platform here, so don't worry, but it's kind of small. And you really have to look to actually notice it. What do you say? Press, uh, yeah, you can press the control pad to look around, or D pad on the Wiimote. Ground Pound you actually no, I really don't care. I think in this one you have to yeah, you look at the arrows, I guess. That mode makes sense. 
uh, long jump over here. If not, you can just do a a, uh, a backflip and then a wall kick and then spin and then you'll get up there easily. Oh wow, the camera sort of like jerked up there. It was weird. The neighbors are causing trouble again. We would be most grateful for your assistance. Oh, apparently they were neighbors. Maybe it's Bowser's influence that are making them actually bad then. Although I don't know how well Natural Selection adapted them to making them so they have the ground pound symbol on their back. That kind of seems like um, uh, that it would have been evolved out, you know, by now. But maybe there, maybe there's been no one in history that would actually come to them and actually ground pound on their back. So I don't know. Also, I should mention coins refill your fly meter sort of thing. And if you ground pound, it'll like automatically refill it, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. This is Bugaboom. As you see, it does look like one of those ground pound bug things. And you want to do the same thing as you did with those bugs, except this time you got to do it, you know, three times like every boss. Well, pretty much every boss in Mario. He doesn't go down without a fight. And now he is flying! He basically has a phase for each of his hits. He can also shoot cannonballs out of his, uh, undersides, <laughs> right there. And you basically just want to hit him again. Pretty easy. But on the third hit, he will get angrier, he will fly, and he can also turn on his side like that and flip over. Where When he turns on his side, obviously you can't ground pound on him because he's not flat. There's a few ways you can take down this boss. You can cling onto the honey there as well, but I just basically like to, um, like get up on these flowers and then just sort of hover in midair using the, like, like, uh, press A slightly multiple times, like I said before. Oh, crap. <laughs> get away from those before they explode. I didn't know cannonballs usually explode. I thought they were just sort of a projectile type thing. But yeah, as you see, you can cling onto the honey here. It's a pretty good strategy, I guess. They give you multiple ways to defeat him, or to wait to defeat him, I guess. Oh, he's on the wrong way. Ah. Oh. Uh, also, beware of the water, I guess, because I think on the first phase you can get him without be being B Mario, but on the second and third phases, I'm pretty sure you have to be B Mario because, you know, he's in the air. Oh, crap, I'm... That was, like, perfect for me to hit him, too. You know what? Let's go to a different spot. Hurry, hurry, hurry before he comes over here. Dang it. See? Well, you might be able to get him when he's on his side there. I'm not positive. Come over here, jeez. Also, I guess going on those plants refills your flying as well. There, you're dead. It seems to me that ground pounding on your back, especially with that, how hard of a shell that looked, might just be a minor inconvenience, but I don't know, maybe it's part of their main body system or something. I don't know. Anyway, we got our star, and that should finish off the main three stars of Honey Hive, so that's good finished off the the main two galaxies of the terrace, I think. Yeah. Otherwise, we just have those two uh, question mark galaxies left. Did we actually unlock the other... Yeah, we unlocked the other question mark galaxy, it looks like. So, I think... Oh, yeah, we actually unlocked the Hungry Luma outside the terrace as well. There's gonna be a Hungry Luma for every dome you find, and it'll lead to, like, one of those one-star galaxies, like these question mark galaxies. And, you know, since we unlocked, um... The other question mark galaxy as well in this in this uh, video. I think we're gonna save both those, and then we'll probably unlock the boss as well because by doing these, we'll each get one star. I think we're gonna save the rest of the terrace and maybe the hungry luma as well for the next part. So in the next part of Super Mario Galaxy, we will finish off the terrace most likely. Well, the main stars. There's always some secret stars to get and stuff, but we can't really do those until they actually appear. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.